Alright guys, welcome back to your second FL Studio tutorial, and in this video, I want to give you guys a really brief overview of the interface. Now, as you guys can see, there are a crap load of buttons and, you know, drop down menus and sliders. If I go ahead and explain every single button, then this tutorial is going to be like an hour and a half long, and we're going to have to learn all that before we even make a simple beat. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a really pretty much a really brief overview the really important pieces and then whenever we want to look at you know an advanced tool or button when the time comes to learn it I'll talk about it then but for right now let me go ahead and shut up and get you know started teaching so you open your program and one of the first things you probably notice is that okay let me go ahead to close this oh sweet Jesus there's no close button there's no maximize there's no minimize and you're like what the heck well, to be honest, I have no idea why the software company didn't put them in the top right corner. Maybe to save space or something, but they actually put them over here. So, this is the close button, this is the maximize, and this is the minimize. So, they do have the buttons, they just put it in a really weird spot for whatever reason. Probably to save space. Maybe it just looks cool. I don't know. But another thing I want to point out is that if you notice that these icons and these weird buttons have no description next to them you're like alright how the heck am I supposed to know what this W plus means am I just supposed to you know look up every little icon well actually under the file edit and channel section you see an empty gray area now this isn't just you know a gray rectangle because they thought it was cool to put there whenever you hover over a button a brief description appears for example this is the master volume now we know that this slider is for the master pitch and this W plus is actually for blender recording overdub so even though we don't know what a lot of these buttons do yet I just want to mention that if you ever are wondering what a certain slider or button does just hover over it with your mouse and then a description appears in this area right here now another thing that you're gonna to want to do eventually is you're gonna to want to customize your interface so even though when you're beginning you're probably not going to want to do this trust me whenever you start making a beat you're going to want to rearrange your workspace pretty much depending on what kind of beat you make or just you know personal taste so I want to give you guys a quick overview of how to do that if you look at any of these panels right here or toolbars I guess they're more technically called on the left hand side you see a bunch of little dots and also when you hover over it check this out your cursor changes to a little I don't know finger with a square next to it Whenever you click, you can go ahead and drag and drop these toolbars around in the top section wherever you want. So maybe you want this over here, and you want this CPU panel over in the top right. Nice, there we go. So you can drag and drop, and it's a lot like Adobe if you ever use you know, Photoshop or anything. Same thing with those panels. Now another thing that you can do is you can actually take some of these panels out or any of them I say some of them but and you can actually drag them and drop them in the middle and this makes kind of a floating panel so you can either rearrange them in the uh, top section right here or just make them floating panels again mostly it's personal preference but also it depends maybe if you're making a specific beat it helps as well now you're like alright look at this what I did is I pretty much was following this dumb tutorial now I got all my panels all over the place and wow my program is ruined well actually anytime you want to reset this workspace to get it back to default all you need to do is this view arrange windows default and when you click that everything goes back to normal so if you want to play around with it but you don't want to mess up your interface again just go ahead and drag everything around and then go to view arrange windows default and everything will pop back to normal now the last thing I want to mention before I get to all this crap down here is that whenever I'm working in these tutorials and I'm talking about something that you guys don't see for example you see where my mouse is this is called the CPU panel or CPU monitor whatever you want to call it and if I'm like alright guys go ahead and look at your CPU monitor and you're like oh sweet mother of Mary I don't see it anywhere it's invisible well all you need to do to make a display is go to view toolbars and these are all of your toolbars whenever there's a check next to them it means that it's showing on the screen so of course we can see the CPU panel it's displaying if it's ever hidden for example if you click it notice that it disappears so if I'm like alright guys go ahead and look at your CPU panel all you need to do if you can't see it one more time is view 
toolbars and make sure that it has a check next to it. By default, I like to have every toolbar visible because, you know, even if you aren't using it, it's nice to, you know, have up there anyways. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be talking about the rest of the interface, which is the it's pretty much the really good stuff because this is where you make your beat this is where you put your song together this down here is where the magic happens so now that we got that boring stuff out of the way make sure to check out the next tutorial and uh... well make sure to subscribe too so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time